winner of race four. It's number six, Strawberry Light, the daughter of Gimme the Green Light. She's beautiful. She's nice and calm and relaxed. Bring in here. Let's chat to Vasco. Well done. There's your envelope. Well done for the win. Yeah, well done. I'm hipping because my watch is winning, so I'm hipping. Well done. well done, Vasco. Thanks very much. Vasco, stand for your photo. There's the cameraman. You can stand for your photo. Vasco, very proud of his filly. And uh, next up, we're going to thank you very much, Vasco. We're going to chat to Richard Faree. Richard, she going down to the start. I know sometimes she can be a little bit of a challenge, but she looked nice and relaxed today. She was a different horse today. Um, well done, Justin. Um, she was so calm. Normally she has a pony, and today the pony was with another horse that needed it more, and she never did a thing wrong. So she's on, on the rise. Um, she took a long time. We always thought she'd win early, um, you know, because the signs were there, but she made us wait. Um, but a lovely win, nevertheless. Um, I think the further we go, the better she'll become, um, and she's just starting to find a way now. So it's quite exciting. The way I saw it today and the way... She raced, um, very promising. So lovely win. Thank you to the Snake team, uh, Bjorn Nielsen. Thank you. And then also to my sponsors at Winning Pool. Well done, Richard. Thank you, Vicky. Okay. Richard's covered all bases there. And uh, Justin, I just want to touch on, you know, we often discuss it's easy from the, from the chair, but this filly, she just has seemed to improve with her nature. Is she, this, is she a challenge at home? Very much so. Um, I actually sent Fiona me a message now, a video of her coming back. She, I don't know what it is, but she just doesn't want to go forward. Uh, even at home, uh, she just uh, just stands there and looks at us. So uh, you, you, a lot of sometimes people get annoyed by that, and then they they try force the horse to go forward. And and uh, I've got older and calmer in those situations. And uh, what I realise is that you've got to do it again the next day. So. Everything, when, when we have a horse that's quite difficult and it doesn't want to go forward, I always think about the next day and the next day and the next day. So whatever we have to do, we need to do it correctly and make her comfortable that she wants to go forward because we're going to have to do it all again the, uh, uh, the following uh, uh, morning. So she's coming along nicely. She's realizing she can go forward at home. She's getting a little bit easier. I want to take her to the beach quite a bit. I think it's going to make a di big difference with her there, just to have that nice environment, enjoyable, the waves and uh, just take everything away and make things a little bit easier for her. It's strange saying the beach is easier. It's actually easier for, for difficult fillies. It's a strange thing, but it works. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, just thanks to Bjorn. It's, he's been very patient. She's been, you know, for punters, a very hard filly to, to follow. But I think today Richard had, he knew he had the race. He was just waiting for the right moment. And uh, uh, just, you know, well done to everyone at home. Lama Scroll who bred her. She's impeccably bred. She's got a, a damn line to die for, and uh, one day when she goes to stud. So the good thing, she's, she's a winner. Now it's, uh, Bjorn will be saying it's my job to get her into the black tie. On the right way now, and uh, you're managing her well, so well done. Yes, uh, uh, we've got a great farm that we train from with paddocks and a great team. You know, seeing horses like Chow Bella just slowly get, you know, just become easier and enjoy their racing. So uh, I'm very proud of the team at home. Well done, Justin. Great, thank you. There you go, Justin, complimenting and thanking his team for managing horses like this. And the Cape is wonderful with the, the vast facilities and also the benefits of the beach. So number six, Strawberry Light. I'm sure you'll be seeing her on the beach more often if you frequent the beaches in Cape Town. She's the daughter of Give Me the Green Light. Well done to Lama Stralstad and Rior Nielsen. Well done to Richard for, for riding. And not to forget Vasco. He was very proud of his filly for winning today. Well done to all the